<laughs> so, can a bull worker build muscle? Can it? Most people go, no, it's rubbish. It can't build no muscle. <laughs> Before we go on to that though, so, um, a little bit of background into why I'm doing this. Uh, so, for those of you who don't know and have seen my videos on my autoimmune disease, I have an autoimmune disease. Uh, and over the last two years, it's been a right pain, literally, okay? <laughs> and not metaphorically. And, um, uh, and I haven't been able to train. It's it decreased my appetite. I can't sleep very well. Oh, nightmare. Anyway, so because of that, I've lost around about six kilograms or around about 13, 14 pounds. And most of that is probably muscle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, trained all my life. Not always weight training uh, specifically. You know, I've done martial arts and boxing and things like that. I've done run, I've run half marathons and, you know, I've done all these things and now I can hardly train at all. Infuriating. <laughs> For those of you who train regularly, you know how infuriating it is not to be able to train. Um, but I've been managing my diet quite well. I've, I'm, I'm doing this sort of an elimination diet, eliminating certain foods that can trigger a, a, an immune response and cause my disease to go worse. Um, I cut out gluten and I do, I am, I cut out gluten for about a week or so now, uh, which I mentioned in, in the video I'll put up here. And then, uh, and I am starting to feel a little bit better. My joints are feeling okay. So I thought, you know what? Um, I've done a couple of videos on the ball worker but I haven't been able to use it for a couple of months because of what's been happening with me. Um, so I thought I'm gonna get it back out, dust it off, <laughs> okay, and see if I can start doing a bit of training again. Because obviously it's hard for me to go to the gym and lift loads of weights and pick up, like I struggle picking up the discs and putting them on the, you know, on the bars because my fingers are hurting. Um, quite a good, difficult grip. So I thought, ooh, the ball worker might be all right. Isometric exercise should be okay. Uh, but a lot of people say, nah, you're never going to build any decent amount of muscle using the ball worker. It's for old men like me. <laughs> okay. Um, just keeps you in shape. Oh, it's for toning. Oh, I hate that word being thrown around. Oh, yes. I don't want to put on too much muscle. I'm just sure to do a bit of toning. <laughs> Fool. <laughs> what is toning? Stupid. Anyway. So, can it build muscle? So what do you need to build muscle? Okay, so the first thing you need to have is that, well, you need to have an anabolic environment. Uh, so you wanna create hypertrophy, muscle growth. Okay, so you need to be sleeping well. Make sure you get plenty of growth hormone when you're sleeping, bingo. Okay, you need to be eating well. Get plenty of whole grains, plenty of protein. Make sure you get your protein, your whole grains, and your car complex carbohydrates. Okay, healthy fats. Need to be getting the right amount of calories so you're replacing the calories you've burnt off you've metabolized through the day okay and you need a stimulus for muscle growth okay so what is a stimulus for muscle growth when anything that taxes the muscles basically uh, which will cause them to grow no of course if i get a pencil and start doing arm curls with a pencil my biceps are going to go i've got no need to grow what's the point i've got no need to grow this pencil i can do forever okay so there has to be a certain limit where you can't you know you have to have a certain stimulus to create muscle growth. But here's the problem. So it's always been sort of perpetuated that, yeah, if you want to build muscle, it's eight to 12 reps for hypertrophy. Hmm. If you want to put on strength, you need to do below six reps. If you want endurance, then you do reps of 20 and above or 15 around the body. Okay. <laughs> Terrible impression of, I don't know who, every personal trainer in the world, maybe. <laughs> um, and they're still teaching this today. It's just ridiculous. Now, if you're living back in the 90s, and you may think that's true, but you know, modern science has come a long way with exercise. And uh, so they've now shown in numerous studies that higher reps can still build adequate muscle, okay? Not just a little bit, but the same. In one particular study, one of many, okay? They had two groups. One did uh, a leg curl with heavy weight, eight to 12 reps hypertrophy range, okay? Another group did 25 reps, okay? Apparently the endurance range for toning. <laughs> uh, 
And uh, after the 12 week study, they were really surprised to find that the 25 rep group had built the exact same amount of muscle, yes, yes, as the group who were doing uh, the heavy weight with the eight to 12 reps. Now, they did find that the eight to 12 reps did put on a little bit more strength, but it wasn't a huge difference, okay? But they did get a little bit stronger. Uh, but look, I'm, I'm not in it for the strength. I don't care about the strength. You know, unless you're competing for a specific event, who cares about strength? I'll give you a little story. Bear with me, okay? A few years ago, I had a shoulder injury, okay? And I got my shoulder injury for trying to show off in the gym and lift too heavy, okay? Popped my shoulder a little bit. It wasn't much damage, but I was out for a, I couldn't lift properly, you know, for a couple of months. And eventually I got back into my training, got the bench press, and I managed to get back up to 100 kilograms on my bench press. Now it might have sound a lot, that's 220 pounds for my American friends, okay? So it might not sound a lot to a lot of people who were very strong, okay? But for me, after an injury and for my size, I was, I was really chuffed that I'd done a 100K bench press. And I was like a pig in poop. I was walking in the gym, out of my way, <laughs> okay? I came home, got into the house, and I couldn't wait to brag to my wife. Listen, you won't believe it. I managed to bench press 100K in the gym. And she looked at me and she couldn't have given two flying Fs, okay? She couldn't give a monkey. She was like, oh, that's nice. So, like, who am I trying to impress? Uh, the lads down the gym? Hey, mate, oh, oh you're well done, son. But, uh, who cares? Forget about my ego, it's gone. So that's my little story, just to give you an idea what I'm not talking about. So, strength-wise, I don't really care, but I do care about looking good, because I am vain. <laughs> so, how could you build muscle with a ball worker? Well, when they did the 25 rep range in the study, the one caveat was that they had to go to failure. So they couldn't, they, if they were aiming for 25, they couldn't do 26, 27, 28. They had to fail on 25. Now, some other studies have done higher rep ranges, 30, 35, but, all, but in every study, the, 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 the stip, stipulation, couldn't get that out then, stipulation is, that if it's 30 reps or 35 reps or 25 reps, that has to be to failure. So if it's 30 reps, they can't do 31. If it's 35 reps, they can't do 36. And it was the same results right across the board in all the studies. They still built the same muscle as the heavier lifting group doing the lower reps. Ta-da, okay. So it's completely feasible that you can do that with a bow worker. Yeah, the workout's gonna be a bit longer, but there's two things. Um, one, you are gonna build muscle, I think so. And two, you've got less chance of getting injured because you're doing higher reps. You're not, you're not messing around with heavy weights. The heavier weight you use, the more chance you got. It's risk reward, isn't it? Okay, the more chance you've got of getting injured. So this is why your ego should just stay at the door when you go in the gym, okay? Leave your ego, just think about being healthy, getting in shape. So, but you can do that with a bull worker. So the bull worker is predominantly an isometric exercise. Ho, oh, okay? But you can do, you know, minor concentric and eccentric movements. So, one, slowly release, two, slowly release, three, slowly release. Get a beat to that. One, slowly release, two, slowly release. <laughs> what the hell am I on about? So, and then when you get to failure, you hold it for your 10 second isometric hold and then you're done. And so you pretty much go into failure, all right? But then you say, yeah, yeah, what about progressive resistance, yeah? <laughs> well, suckers, on the, on the bull worker, you'll see numbers going across here and a little sort of red thing, disc or whatever, you, that slides back and forth. So if I say, if I go, hey, you have to pull that face, okay? And then, so right, I know I've done, oh, 45. So if I do 45 this week, next week I go, right, let's try and aim for 50. So the, so the following week, I'll look at it like, I'm gonna go, right, I'm gonna do 50. 50, there's your progressive resistance. Come on, guys, easy, isn't it? It's not rocket science. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna to do to test this is use myself as a guinea pig. I am feeling a bit better. I think I can exercise, I can do this three, four times a week, which you need to really be exercising three to four times a week with this. 
And I'm gonna, I'm gonna measure my progress over the next six weeks and see if I do build any muscle. So I've taken a measurement of my puny arms. Puny human. That used to be just over 15 inches. Uh, and they are now 12 and a half inches. <laughs> okay, which I think about 32 centimeters. Let me have a look. Yeah, it's about 32, 32 and a half centimeters. So every week I'm gonna take a progress report and see if I'm actually putting on any muscle uh, by measuring my arms. I will take other body measurements as well and also weigh myself on the scales and take some body fat readings uh, and see if it works. And if it doesn't, I'll be the first to hold my hands up and say, it's a load of crap, all right? But I don't think it is. I think you can't build muscle with the bull worker. So let's see how my progress grows. Anyway, that's, like, that's the end of my video today. Look for my follow-up follow videos to this. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you didn't, whatever, don't care, jog on, <laughs> okay? Subscribe, don't subscribe, whatevs, whatevs, okay? Uh, and I will see you in the next video.